This is such a cliche location. <laughs> All right, how's my face going? Still got a little bit of a lump going on. Still look like I have a bulbous on my head. We decided to call this Barry the Bulbous. Looks like I'm not gonna be getting any photos today. Nah, it's all right. You know what I'll do? Uh, if I'm getting a photo, I'm just gonna be like, is that my good side? Is this my, oh my God, <laughs> stop! Addison's been here for about two weeks now. He's got about six days left here. We're always doing something because we wanna make the most of the time while he's here. And because of that, we don't have many opportunities to go out and take photos around the area, doing portraits and stuff like that. We wanna go out and take some photos and just have some stuff for him to remember before he leaves to go back to Australia. There's this wall that Addison was talking about. He said that it was really cool and stuff. I have no idea what it looks like or anything, but he says it looks cool. So he wants to go check that out. But the first thing we need to do is we need a fashion change. The reason why I'm actually in here getting all this clothes and stuff is because I've seen your comments. People have said to me that, man, you have like three different outfits. I'm just like repeating the same outfits all the time. The reason why I'm here with Addison is because I don't know how to choose some stuff for myself. I need someone who's actually all right with fashion. I need some help. I'm gonna do a match cut in three, two, one. Oh my God, <laughs> that bad. was really bad. When I say that I would never wear something like this, I, I mean that I've pretty much never ever worn something like this. But the reason why we went for these colors, we wanna have some summer vibes. And as I've said in my previous vlog, color makes you feel a certain way. It's summertime, you wanna have colors that are really bright and vibrant. Now that we've got this, let's go find the location. The lighting is actually probably the worst that could possibly be. It's like direct sunlight, but we do have a few clouds up there. And so what clouds do is it diffuses the light. So it makes the lighting a lot more soft. So that's what we need. We've just found our location. Probably the most Californian thing that you'll see. You want to make it any more obvious that it's California? Not really. I think that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Sun keeps going in and out, but just trying to take this one photo, but then it's just like coming in and then, ugh. I'm still not satisfied, so we're gonna go over to the beach and I think there's this cool location under the pier. I was actually expecting there to be much less people here. We're also not the only photographers here either. This is such a cliche location. My God, this is, you actually can't beat this. It looks like you can just go out and grab it. Like, anyway, the photos. So with the first photo, I ended up actually getting one half decent photo in terms of the lighting. Like there was that cloud, there was that little bit, just a tiny bit of cloud that came over and that was actually better than I thought. And then the beach one, the most cliche photo that you've probably ever seen. In terms of the outfit that we were wearing, I think there was pretty much spot on. If I was wearing this, it would be a completely different vibe, like black and white, long sleeve and long pants. Although this is what I wear all the time, the fact that I actually kind of changed that up a bit, I really like that and I didn't really know that until now. We shot these portraits on the 55 millimeter and once again, we opened the aperture right up to f1.8. So we had that nice bokeh in the background, isolating the subject, looked really cool. One thing that I really wish we bought the reflector because if we had that, we could have bounced that really harsh sunlight from the right side, bounce it onto the subject so it wasn't so blown out on the right. I actually ended up bumping the highlights down in post so that it just kind of compensated for that. All right, question of the day. 
As one Melbourneian to another, how on earth do you not feel awkward filming in public, especially all these Casey Neistat tripod setup shots to set the scene? I feel like as an Australian, it's awkward because little people understand this industry and we aren't very out there people compared to other countries. I definitely get that vibe. When I'm vlogging in Melbourne, the people around me definitely tend to stare a lot more and think that it's much more of a weird kind of thing to do. The whole idea is to do something every day that you're scared of. When I started vlogging and talking to the camera in public, I was so scared of what other people thought. I was so scared, like, oh man, like so many people are looking at me right now. This sounds so cliche, but the more you do it, the more practice you get. Obviously, the better you're going to get. The more you talk to the camera, the more confident you're gonna be talking to the camera. And when you're more confident talking to the camera, you'll be more confident doing it in public. And the more that you do it in public, then the more confident you'll get doing it in public and the more in the zone you'll get. Because once you start talking to the camera, once you start actually explaining yourself and getting into a rhythm and knowing exactly what you're talking about, then it's very easy to get into the zone and then everything else is just blocked out. And then the more you do that, it becomes second nature. But you just gotta throw those insecurities out the window and just know that what you're doing right now, talking to the camera is so much more worth your time than worrying about what other people think. Anyways, that's the end of the video, guys. If you guys like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you guys again. I'll catch you guys next time.